Cheers, man. Yeah. I see you handle your weapon well. I have been able to keep my tip up. Watching Bond. Well, babe, today is the day. Today is the day. My name is Lidit and I'm his girlfriend, and we're watching all the James Bond movies. And today is a special day because today we're watching Die Another Day. day. Yeah. His favorite Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna hate yourself after seeing this, I think. Mm. But I, I'm curious, I'm really curious what you're gonna think of uh, Die Another Day. You really loved Goldeneye, mm -hmm. you loved Tomorrow Never Dies, you yeah. didn't really like The World Is Enough. Um, and this is his final Bond film. Oh, his final though. Oh, yes, yeah, because the other one is with. Uh, what was his name? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, I'm very curious, because. Oh, a few people said it's a very bad movie because... <laughs> what do you expect from... What do you expect to be bad? What, what, the whole what's movie, in your mind? You yeah, what, what, do you, <laughs> what kind of badness do you expect from it? I really don't know. I really don't know. Okay. But I remember... But I'm not biased. Exactly. That was I'm what I was going to say. That was Blank. That was what you mentioned yeah. in uh, The World Is Not Enough. That you yeah. wanted to go in unbiased. But I'm very curious if I like this one, because otherwise I will break some hearts. <laughs> probably. Well, no, no, no. I think if you enjoy this, this Bond film, more power to you. Bond film fans can appreciate it. It just, it just happens to be the Bond film that isn't necessarily liked in general too but much. But there's Halle Berry in it. Yeah. It's not that, yeah. I won't spoil too much no, about no, Halle Berry. No. Um, <laughs> but you but. don't want to go into bias. But no. I still want you, before we witness this, before we delve into Diary of Day, I want you to uh, read this disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. And read Why it out. Why is it so bad? No, I just, just for mine. So no, this is just to protect myself legally. So I want to, to make it. <laughs> We're not it married. <laughs> <laughs> so could you read this out? Okay, so people, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> okay, serious. Okay, serious. I, Hiru's lovely girlfriend, hereby declare that I will not let this horrendous piece of cinema I'm about to witness influence my opinion on my boyfriend's passion for James Bond. Oh my God, it's really bad. Okay, in any way whatsoever. And fully understand that James Bond is a brought up most important passion to my boyfriend and that, is, that this movie doesn't necessarily re represent the full context of his passion. Yeah. Oh my god. Sign here, babe. I have to sign it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, we're lucky that this not this isn't the first movie that we watched. Yeah, we probably would have ended it right there, yeah. I think, if we, we started <laughs> with this one. Um, but again, yes. I do like that you don't want to go in bias. This mm -hmm. is all, you know, jokes aside, uh, I do want to see how you enjoyed this movie. And I think the viewers can't wait for you to delve into this one. Pierce Brosnan's Forge James Bond movie. Are you ready to start? I'm ready and I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna be watching Die Another Day. Hello, welcome back! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> we 
made it through. We made it through, yeah. <laughs> it was quite... Uh, <laughs> I've seen it plenty of times, but um, yeah, we made it through. But this is not about what I think of it. This is about what you thought of that. I'm still away. awake, right? You're still awake, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, we've I watched that. I gave it a four day. and a half. So you immediately go with immediately, your rating. Immediately, yes. Four and a half, Four okay. And a half, yeah. So your worst rating yet. Yeah. What did you think of the movie? <laughs> I was not biased, but um, the green screen scenes. Lots of green screens. Yeah. I saw you enjoy the first half a lot more. You, you were constantly saying, oh, this is not that bad. You were still expecting things, but in the end... <laughs> it did sink in. Yeah, the first half until Iceland, right? Is the first half? Basically, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the first scene was quite good. Yeah, but they had like scenes and sentences and like phrases. I was like. The writing of the script, you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of the dialogue. Really? You mean. Well, they had like... This This was the 20th film, right? This so was the 20th film, you're right. Yeah. That's why they did it. They had a lot of references, yeah. you mean, to past Bond films. Yeah. I had to sometimes uh, explain. Because you were like, why were they saying this? It's like yeah. Lots of references. Yeah. To... What else? What else? Well, they had to call the producers from Harry Potter because the tsunami scene. <laughs> The producers from Harry Potter? Yes, because all the Harry Potter films are like with green screen. And CGI. So CGI, you don't see it, it's fake. Mm -hmm. And, and here, the tsunami scene. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Here. What did you no. think of the kite serving on a tsunami? <laughs> <laughs> on the tsunami. Nope. <laughs> that's, nope. Not, that's not possible. No, it's not. No. Nope. <laughs> it's 12 stories high, a tsunami. But, so yeah. how do we... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... It's not possible. The tsunami scene, yeah. No, how? No. Is that the... Well, is, is he, 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 Mission Impossible... No, well, this is not Mission Impossible because that's another film, but his missions are impossible. But yeah. this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely impossible, and um, that's the thing, you, you just mentioned they should have asked the Harry Potter people mm -hmm, because they this do... one is uh, in 2002, mm -hmm. so yeah, they right, when call they... the yeah, but, but how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, but it's not like, the, even if they, because the Bond movies have used CGI in more subtle ways in the past, okay. you, but the thing with Bond is usually all the action you, you can tell that's why it's so impressive and why the old movies still hold up. It's like because it's all done for real. Mm -hmm. But nothing about this whole kite surfing scene. Maybe it was new in this era. Yeah, but. I don't know. But even back in 2002, it looked fake. Yeah. It, it's. Yeah. You cannot kite surf on a tsunami. No. It's not possible. No. And, and <laughs> I don't think that they, they need to, to bring people in for the CGI. Um, I just thought they should have done more stuff for real, like, mm -hmm. like the other action scene with the cars. Well, the laser what was chasing him, it stopped. Mm -hmm. Or did it go through? Because when it was chasing him, it was like almost getting him. The rocket car. Yes, and then he just jumped off the cliff mm -hmm. with the rocket car, and then the laser was just stopped. Or yeah. did it go through, but then slower? It, it was going to cut off the... It cut off the the peninsula of the yeah. uh, the glacier 
So it's stuffed? Like you, you should imagine a block of butter and then you slice off the... They sliced off yeah. like a half. It stopped, it didn't go through because that would have that would have killed Bond immediately, of course. If they would have done that, but he wanted to slice out a piece so that he fall down to his doom. Mm -hmm. But Bond survived by kite serving a tsunami, of course. <laughs> you go, Bond, you go! <laughs> yeah. What else? Did it, what are also things you did enjoy about the movie? Like, I saw you enjoy the first half. Mm -hmm. Well, I liked the first half of the movie, but... They started again in a military base. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah again! That's, that's what you keep saying again. with the Boston movies. Is that also what the other movies are coming? No, none of the Daniel Craig movies start in a military base. I think he said base. that also to the producers. I do not want to start at a military base. <laughs> yeah, you're right. In a way, three out of the four Boston movies start in some sort of military area. Uh, yeah, on. because one was at the market. Like a bazaar. Yeah, yeah also bazaar. with military thingies. Yeah, the previous one didn't. That started at a Swiss banker's office in Bilbao. Oh yeah, in Bilbao, in Spain, yes. Yeah. But uh, uh, North Korean uh, military, demilitarized zone, it started there with the hovercraft chase. Um, what did you think of the, the opening? Very weird, because he was with another assignment, right? You mean the reason he came there? Yeah, the reason he came to North Korea. I didn't understand that. Why did you come to North Korea? We just jumped in in his life. He just surfed off a uh, which, a wave. which, by the way, what did you think of that surfing into North Korea? How do you surf to another country? You cannot country? do that in North Korea. They Never, have, you can't they have surf like, to any country. <laughs> no, but they have like, like, you know, cameras everywhere. It's like the most exclusive land in the world. Mm -hmm. You cannot just surf in like, hi, what, oh, I'm here, yeah. I'm just surfing on yeah. your waves. No, you're right. And those waves are so freaking high. But at least the surfing opening, that was done for real. You know, it was in Hawaii where oh, it, it was, was filmed, but okay. um, it was still a real action scene. And later in the movie, they do a computer wave with like... Well, I thought they were just like beginning to fight on the waves and I was like, how? Oh, that was what you were yeah. expecting. Yeah, got, but they were just colleagues. Yeah, yeah, they were allies. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it was very strange. Mm -hmm. I don't know why did you came to North Korea to do what another assignment, and then you want to revenge Zhao. Yeah, Zhao is the the guy um, with the diamonds embedded in his face. Yeah, what that, did you think of of Zhao? Because when but Bond... He didn't stand at the diamonds, he was standing right in front of James Bond. There was another guy who was standing with the diamonds. Yeah, but How the, is I can imagine they fly everywhere with an explosion of C4 explosives. But what did you think of... Because those diamonds st were stuck in his face for the entire movie. Yeah, that was also strange, like... Pick them out yeah. with a pin set or something. <laughs> Like, you don't leave splinters in it. And okay, it's beautiful, you're like with diamonds and stuff, but... And he wanted to change his face, like... Right? <laughs> why did you pick the diamonds out? I know, it's, it's crazy, because he <laughs> wanted to change his appearance from an Asian man to a Caucasian German. Yes, yes. And he was at the halfway point. Wouldn't it be, you Easier. know, step one to yeah. first get that out? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of those things in the end of the day. Um, but we were still talking about kind of the opening, and then after right, the hovercraft chase, yeah, yeah. he got That's tortured. So what did you think of, of the character of Bond getting tortured for 14 months, growing That's a beard? So sad. Yeah. I cannot watch to torture. You don't like torture? Oh, I like horror movies, demons, and ghosts and stuff. Right, that's normal, but. but <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal, okay? <laughs> but torture, if and um, I can, I don't know. No, it's too much. Too much. That's too much. But you didn't really yeah. see much of the torture itself, apart from the scorpions next no, to him. No, 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 no. But, um, but what did you think of uh, of of that aspect? And did did you see it? Did, did you see any of the repercussions on Bond later in the movie? No. Did it affect him? Nothing. Exactly. 
That when was my was father. In, uh, when he was in uh, China, Beijing, or mm -hmm. Hong Kong, mm -hmm. he was in a hotel uh, hotel room. Shaved off the shaved beard. Shaved off everything. It was like he shaved off the the torture and the history. Exactly. Of That's what I was. Like, what I, I was would just cut my hair and torture is gone. I yeah. just. Shave that's, my beard and it's gone. And don't you think that's a shame? Because there's a lot of interesting aspects they could have explored with the movie. Well, All the repercussions If I could was have tortured, had. I will also want to put that aside. Like, of I do course, not want to naturally. remember that. Of course, but it's a movie and shouldn't it come back to haunt him in yeah, some way? Yeah, like with like flashbacks. Flashbacks. Yeah. But it didn't. You just oh, only, it. only, yeah, not until the shaving exactly. Mm -hmm. He got the flashback in the bed when he was uh, brought back to life, basically. With the, oh yes. But that was it, and no mentions of it anymore. Uh, well, the in China with the hotel, they knew him. Yeah, they always know Bond everywhere. That's like a joke Roger Moore, which which who also played James Bond, always made like. Like you have, you can't take Bond series if I want to play Bond because every guy in every hotel in the world knows him. That's what he always said. It's kind of like Bond That's has weird, contacts right? everywhere, even though he's supposed to be a spy. That's weird. Because he walked in that hotel, no shoes, just looking like rope, water. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that bit. <laughs> just, he like a, like he owns the place. Like he's a total badass. I I love that moment in the movie. But who was that? Chinese guy. Mr. Chang. Um, that? No, not someone that appeared in previous movies. There was a Chang mentioned in uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, but I think that's... But he was point. in China. Why didn't they call Wei Lin? Uh, that's that's a <laughs> good point. She was actually going to be in this movie. Really? On that part. Um, I like Wei Lin. Yeah, I, I would have loved her to see her return because they never bring back Bond girls. Um, they, they're gonna do that in the new one, but up until that point, they never did it, and they were gonna bring back Michelle Yeoh to Who's reprise that? her. That's the one who played Wei Lin. Oh, yeah. So yeah, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, then the movie moved to Cuba. Yes. And uh, we met with our main Bond girl, played by Halle Berry, who played uh, Agent Jinx uh, of the NSA. What did you think of of Halle Berry in this movie? Yeah, she played. It. Quite good. Oh, well, really? Yeah, but her lines <laughs> were so bad. Yeah. Wow. Now there's a mouthful. Huh? So you're going to be busy tonight with the owls then, huh? No owls in Los Alcanas. I think we'll see till the morning. Not out there anymore. So what do predators do? Heb je ook ze weggedaan hoor? So it's more the script, the script writers fall down. I'm mortified. Yeah. Like, why? There are sexual lines. All like, the innuendos with her. A with, normal girl them. wouldn't say that. No. It's, <laughs> so that was more the blame of uh, the script writers compared to Hellberry herself. Yes, yes. Because when she walked out of that water. She was like herself. In slow motion. In slow motion. I was right. there for you on vacation. Really? Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> but the that... strange thing, she had like a knife. Right. <laughs> like how? On the belt. I was gonna say yeah. that was a reference to that whole thing of her coming out of the water and then with the knife. It's a reference to the first Bond girl from the first Bond movie, oh. uh, who also wears a knife. So if you're going to do it on holidays, we should get you a belt with like, instead of the J from Jinx, we'll get a little L on there. With a knife? Then, yeah, sure. You we'll make it happen. with a knife? We'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, <laughs> no. You, you like Jinx as, uh, as a character. How does she compare? Because you, you seem to like the badass Bond girls yes. that, that can take care of themselves. Yes. And, and fight and stuff. Uh, how do you like Wei Lin compared to Jinx? Do you like one more than the other? or? Well, I think Wei Lin is better. Right. She had her own layer. Oh yeah, with the gadgets. With the gadgets and stuff. And 
and the other film you knew exactly who she was and where she came from and what she was doing and Jinx I thought she was bad in the beginning really I didn't know I didn't know she was good I didn't you had know. no idea she was a secret agent no for... nobody told me that right no that's well, right it, it's not revealed the, until the later half mm -hmm. of the uh, film that she said it like oh, I'm NSA because mm -hmm. he said to her like what are you are you CIA, NSA, what are you? And yeah. she was like, I was, I'm NSA. And I yeah. was like, okay, so you're good? Yeah, so, but even when she went to the clinic and shot that Dr. Alvarez, she oh, still yeah. thought she was a bad kid, bad guy? Right, you had because no I idea. didn't know. Yeah, no, that's, that's me, because to me it's obvious. But I didn't I've know seen... that the doctor was bad. Exactly, I, because I, to I, you it's all... Uh, uh, I only knew that watching. Zhao was in uh, Havana and he was doing something, but that other guy where James Bond was going to, he said he is on this island and you have to go there, because right. he's there. Right. But I didn't know that that was bad or something, I didn't know that they were changing faces or anything like that. Right. So, so you were expecting her to be the bad, bad girl? Bad girl, right? yes, right. because I didn't know where the, that Sao guy was. Mm -hmm. And then she was at the clinic. And then I thought like, so you've been here before because you had your file and you had to pay for it. Very interesting to see how you were thinking. That, that, uh, I wasn't expecting you to think she was a bad girl, but And then she shot the guy, like, why? Mm -hmm. And then you saw that she was looking for Sao, okay, but you want to save him or you want to kill him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, because you know from James Bond he was going there to kill Sao. You had no idea what I she I didn't know what okay. she was doing. And what did you think of her escape from the cliff where she put out her dress and then... Yeah, everybody was like, all those men were like, they were like... How oh, you look at me like... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was quite strange because it was quite high. I don't know if it was real. No, that, that it was high. real. But it was not it real. It was unrealistic. Mm -hmm. That jump from her, that was quite awesome. I but none of it is real. No? No. It's not but even she real. jumped. No, right? it's also green screen. The whole thing is fake. Because she didn't, she didn't know how deep it was. Like you, you have to know how deep the water is. Because that high yeah, of a no. jump, no. you cannot make it no, like no. in the water. But, but, you have but to, like, I would have appreciated if if they used a real stunt woman to do that stunt. But even that, it wasn't real. It, it was just no, a green screen. It was screen. so high, mm -hmm. and she just jumped like backwards, like. First of all, do not jump backwards. <laughs> Second of all, you jumped off that cliff or off that uh, that wall, but you don't know how deep the water is. The whole you, thing. You, the you, whole thing you was not. Me? Yeah, the whole like, thing was you not. You have to go sick. further in the water mm -hmm. to stop yourself. Mm -hmm. But she was like, jump in the water, and she was like, hi, I'm here. Yeah. That's not possible. No, the whole thing. With is the not height really of the wall. No, I, I agree. It's it's not one of the most realistic parts and as you notice, there's not a lot of realism in this movie. Yeah. Um, one of the things you already mentioned is the kite surfing tsunami. Another thing that often gets called out by the fans is the invisible Aston Martin. Bond drives an invisible car in this movie. Your new transportation. Maybe you've been down here too long. Aston Martin, call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish. Oh, very good. Adaptive camouflage, tiny cameras on all sides, project the image really? they see on the light of the image. What did you think of the car? So badass. You really, you like yeah, it? Yeah, but not for James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I, saw, I saw in Harry Potter the cloak. Of you know, course, the, cloak, the invisibility the cloak. cloak. That's magical. Mm -hmm. That's in Harry Potter. Right. Like, 
Why do you need they, an invisible car for right, James they, Bond? They did try to it's go... It's not magical. Exactly, it's not magical. They did try to go for a scientific explanation, like there were adaptive cameras on the one side that would project the image on the other side, so, and you would see it in that way. But still, that kind of technology. Unrealistic. It, it would. It, they, apparently, the army at the time was testing this technology out, so it was based on real technology, but not to the extent where you can't see the entire car um, like that. So, uh, but what did you think of the car itself? Beautiful car. You said a lot during the film. I'm so happy they don't use. BMWs. I'm so happy they don't use that's BMWs. That's true. And I was like, okay, but yeah, they have a lot of guns in it. A lot of guns. A lot. Mm -hmm. Like the first car I saw on Goldfinger, I think that was that gray car. The TB5. The yeah. TB5 didn't have that much guns or rockets. This had rockets and guns and. In it, it was like. Packed with the gadgets. Only he could sit in it or with somebody next to him, but that's it. <laughs> that's it. He had all those buttons for another gun. Yeah, yeah, lots of gadgets. Um, but it was used in a pretty exciting scene where he was battling the Jaguar of Zhao on the ice. And ice. Oh yeah, on the ice, yes. What did you think of that? Um, I remember that one with uh, Fast and the Furious 8, I think. Oh, that's what it I reminds you of. Seven or eight, yes. I wouldn't be able to tell, but there's a, an ice chase. There was an too. ice chase uh, with also rockets and uh, bombs and everything, and okay. with a tank on it. Right. So I remember that one. Maybe was, they were inspired by this movie with that. I maybe, wouldn't know. I, I don't the, know about that Fast and Furious. Furious movie. That were number like, eight. So I that's number a eight. lot later than this movie came but, out. Yeah. It, by this they time, they were with uh, six cars and a tank. Okay, <laughs> so it that's was what a lot more. Yeah. yeah, but it turned out Hellberry was the good girl, yes, uh, I but the other one that. was Miranda Frost, who turned out to be the bad girl. What did you think of Miranda Frost? Um, yeah, her hairline. Her hairline. Oh my god. Well, what was her what? hairline was like at her eyebrows, and I was like, I was saying to you like. That That's the kind of stuff correct. you would get if you asked for an opinion about <laughs> the hairline. You didn't say that? Her yeah, I know it's true, but um... She was a beautiful woman. Okay, see. okay. Yeah. That, see. Also with Halle Berry, also a beautiful woman, but... I thought she was good because she was MI6 mm -hmm. with the M. She told her like stuff and with that scene and I was like, oh, she's a double agent. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. No, because she said, ah, yes, I would, I don't do anything with Bond. I, would, I don't do anything with anyone. And I was like, in three years? No sex and with anyone. No sex with anyone. And um, I think it would be foolish to get involved with someone within the community. Especially James Bond. You were expecting her to. Yeah, I didn't believe that. I you was were like, like okay, when, when she's when you like, set I, your I, eyes on James Bond, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were expecting it. Yeah. And then it did. It did. Yeah. Um, but but did you? Because I remember Electra King in the previous movie really got under your skin for being a good actress on a bad girl. Did yeah. Miranda Frost manage that too? That you really hated no. her. Not really. No, because she went from bad side to good side to bad side, and I was like, I'm so confused, girl. Yeah, Where but you want to you're play? right. You're she introduced with in the fencing, and you were like, she's a bad girl. And yeah, then I was like, okay, she's like the assistant. Assistant, like uh, I don't know. Yeah. And the then, moment. and then she turned out to be an MI6 agent. But then later, yeah. she turned out to be I was on. Like, okay, the so hmm, okay, and then she turned out. Bad, and I was like, confusing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I remember in previous episodes you talked about villains like Oddjob and Renard, and Renard had like the pain gimmick with the hot coals. Oh yes. And Oddjob was like super strong, and you were like, they're kind of like robots in a way. Yeah. But this villain, Gustav Graves, played by Toby Stevens, literally had like a robot suit. 
where he had like electricity gloves and he could move the laser from his uh, little uh, machine suit. What did you think of the main villain in this movie? Ah, no comments. No comments? No, no, people are interested no. to hear this. I know, but... Yeah, it was unrealistic. Well, the robot thing, what he was wearing... Mm -hmm. It's a suit. It, yeah, that suit, it reminded me of Marvel movies. Right, like superhero Super stuff. Yeah, yeah, like the Iron Man, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Um, too much for Bond. Too much for Bond, yes. No, no. And what did you think of the character of Gustav Graves? Because he turned out to be uh, the Korean colonel, colonel's son, in a different skin later on. Uh, what did you think of that aspect? That's so weird, because he died. He literally died in that scene. You saw him fall with the Hoover thingy. Hoover, the Hoovercraft. Hoovercraft. Yeah. Like James Bond was like down the waterfall. He was like shooting at him, right? Mm -hmm. And then he just went back on the Hoover uh, craft craft thing, and he just stuck at that, and then he just fell off the cliff. Mm -hmm. And then and he the turned other... out to be uh, a different uh, guy. And then, oh my God! In fourteen months, so he jumped out of the water, and he was like, "I'm alive! Yes, I'm alive!" <laughs> And then in 14 months, when James Bond was uh, tortured, mm -hmm. he built up a ice business, yeah. an ice palace, a laser, he in, went famous in, the, satel in yeah. the satellites. Right. He went famous in UK. Yeah. He, he got that's, rich because of the conflict diamonds. That's one year and two months, people. Yeah. But I, he didn't sleep. He didn't sleep. That's how, yeah. how he how he supposedly did it. He didn't sleep. <laughs> That's not possible. Well, a human being cannot go without sleep. I think three weeks. Yeah, but he did it in the dream machine. He had like this machine uh, in his uh, laboratory where he was staying in for a couple of hours, and that gave him the energy boost every time. That's how he supposedly did it. Okay. But still. No. Kind of weird, right? Yeah. He looked the part. He did. He did. He really did. Because he said part. he modeled his face after James Bond, being like a slimy, disgusting. He said he modeled it after like the bad version of Bond. Do you agree with with him? Um. Well, he doesn't look like James Bond. <laughs> oh. No. But um. He looked part. Hmm. He looked like a, a like little, a villain. Yeah. 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 But Zhao, Zhao. Mm -hmm. With the diamonds. With the diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> a bit more to me. I think he's. It he's, was a little scary. Yeah, but I think it's too sci-fi. It's too sci-fi. Yeah, that's that's true. Because his eyes and his eyebrows were gone, and his hair mm. was gone, and he was like, I don't know. Uh, really, he was supposedly really, at the really. midway point of his yeah. therapy and he was going, just like that Gustav Graves, he was going to have mm -hmm. a different appearance, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. Um, so, uh, anything else you want to mention that we didn't talk about yet in this, this movie that I have today? Well, you cannot lie on diamonds. That's too hard for your back. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's a horrible note for Brosnan to say to goodbye end, yes, to the to role end, of James yes. Bond because he came in so strong in GoldenEye as the new promising new Master double Kill, star. Right? No, no, that was Timothy Dalton. Oh, oh yes, yeah, GoldenEye. Yeah, yeah, his debut, and then he had to end on With especially if you're bad, and then that's the way he goes out. Yeah. It's yeah, such a shame. So, um, normally we give the movie a rating at the end, but this time you popped in and yes. you had four and a half. How did yeah. you come up with the four and a half? Because it's the, so you even put it below Goldfinger, which you didn't really like. Yeah, I, I fell asleep three times at Goldfinger. <laughs> right. But um, the story at Goldfinger, I understand it. 
Right. Um, the villain over there and the good one. Yeah? The story, the storyline, okay. For me, not a Bond fan, I had to get it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah? And this one? This one, the beginning, I didn't, I didn't know what he was doing in North Korea. Was he doing an assignment? I don't mm -hmm. know. He was tortured for 14 months because he was an assassin. Then uh, he wanted to get revenge on someone in North Korea, but he went to Havana because that guy was in Havana. And um, then he saw a beautiful girl on the beach. He went to bed with that beautiful girl. And that beautiful girl came out as also an assassin. On the good guy's side. On the good guy's side, but I didn't know. Yeah, okay. I didn't know. And um, throughout the whole movie, I didn't know what the bad guy wanted. You didn't know his, his main plot, basically. No, I didn't know. All the other movies I watched, right. they the, said the it. The villain scheme is explained they, a lot earlier. They said it like, I want to rule the world, I want to make papers, I want to make mm. like newspapers that, um, that I can make, that I... I, I this time it wasn't that. clear to you. What was at uh, Tomorrow Never Dies? That that was that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Gold Golden Eye. What was that? Uh, that Russians. was with the uh, with the uh, Agent 006. Who, with uh, Agent 006, uh, License to Kill. It was with drugs. Yeah. Like I knew at the beginning what the villain wanted, but yeah. at die another day, I didn't know. Is was it uh, was it with the diamonds? I don't know because the diamonds, the diamonds didn't really end up playing much no, of a role anyway. Only at the end, like, oh, we're gonna die rich, okay? Yeah, but but where? Why? So I think they were um, they had to do with the satellite, but I'm not sure if it did because it's based on diamonds are forever, and not a reference there. They use it on the satellite, but here it's not really. Clear. And then the satellite from from space, yeah. Like, I'm, With the laser? I'm, I'm just watching now a satellite from space. With like okay. a fireball coming down. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's so weird. And what did he want to reach with that? Like World War Three? I don't know with the... He wanted to help North Korea and basically attack the West. So um, that was his plan? Basically, yeah. To start it comes war down with North that. Korea and the West. Yeah, and it doesn't make sense. So why build an ice palace and make your whole image and all that stuff? Yeah, that's so gotta, weird because he had an, any plans or something like that. He just wants to be rich. Yeah. He just wants to be famous. It's it's weird. With diamonds, mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Four point five. Confusing yes. story. Because it was a confusing story. And you didn't help me like the other and films. A lot of green screen you mentioned, like the, the effects. Yeah, that was very fake. Yeah. yeah. If that was more realer and the movie, uh, how do you call it, story? More realistic. More realistic, right. and they told his uh, that their own lines. It changed everything in Havana. Yeah. With the with the lab. lab thing. From there. It From went... there, it was like. Yeah, what hap what's, ha what's happening? What's this? Yeah. You want to change your face? <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Um, so that's why. But you're looking for more realism. Um, yes. I wrote you a disclaimer to hopefully you still are on board to watch more Bond movies. Well, there are four left, right? Well, five. <laughs> if you include No Time to Die. Well, there's a lot more that came before the Brosnan movies that we didn't watch, but there are four oh, more yeah, that came out ones. after this one. Yeah. Do you want to continue with the next well, one? Well, your favorite one is Casino Royale, right? That's the one that's, com that's coming next. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah the License blue, to Kill and Casino Royale. Man, right? Daniel Craig, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you always keep talking about wanting more blood wanting more realism, uh -huh. less over-the-top stuff, uh -huh. and more uh, f realistic fighting. All of that is with the Daniel Craig movies, but I don't want to spoil too much. But are you in for going in that direction next, or do you want to go to the old ones? No, What's up next? that one is okay. Yeah. Okay. Casino Royale. I'm very excited. Is it Me the, too. Is it with a casino? 
Yeah, yeah, it's based on the first book of the there are the books and Casino Royale is the very first book ever. Why? That's the first one. Yeah. Um, but the, this film is the twenty first. First. Yeah. The, uh, in the next movie, I can tell you really quickly before we quit, it's a reboot. It's it's going to start a whole new chapter. The twenty movies that came past. It's like a clean slate. Really. Bond turns into 007 for the first time in that movie, and it's all new. And you see him gain gain his 00 status and go from a rookie agent to becoming. The 007 we now know. Oh, so okay. we get to see how he turns into the womanizer and how he became but you the all, man already we know. saw that, right? In other yeah, movies. but now we see it from the beginning kind of in a modern world. Mm. So it's like a reset. Okay. So we'll dive into Casino Royale next time uh, with my girlfriend Watches Bond. <laughs> so see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>